Hello, my stamping friends. My name is Holly Peterson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today, we're going to make this pretty card using the baby wipe technique for this border. And I'll show you how you can change the color of your ribbon as well. This is from a new stamp set called Happy Hibiscus. I'm also using the Distressed Tile 3D Embossing Folder, as well as the Elegant Borders Dies to do our border there. So with that, let's get started. We're gonna start out with um, baby wipes. And I have just two baby wipes. I've folded in half. And I'm just protecting my surface with the um, a craft sheet. So the colors that we're using, I got from the color wheel, the color coach, and I'm using the triadic. So I'm using Melon Mambo, Coastal Cabana, and Daffodil Delight. I think the color coach is still on back order, um, but it should be available in my online store soon. So I have my Melon Mambo, um, Daffodil Delight, and Coastal Cabana reinkers, and I am. We're going to emboss this border, and it started out as um, basic white, one by five and a quarter. And so I just want to make sure that I do um, ink enough that I don't have to, as long as my border is, let's put it that way. So we'll just come in and do some ink drops there. And then we'll come in with some yellow. Okay, we'll try that and see how it does. So I'm just going to lay this in here and kind of tap it down in the ink. I'm not too concerned about this border up here. I'm gonna tie a ribbon around that. But I do kind of want a lot of the other color. Okay, I think we'll stop with that. I'm just gonna set that off to the side so it can dry. Get the ink off my fingers here. I'm doing this technique in uh, a class um, this month for my stampers. So um, I told them I would provide them with some rubber gloves so they didn't get all inky. Okay. The rest of the measurements, we're gonna do a um, card base of basic black that's four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I always like to use my bone folder in case my score line is off just a little bit. That looks good. We have a layer of Coastal Cabana that's four by five and a quarter, and I embossed this with a Distressed Tile 3D embossing folder. Whenever I use um, embossing folders, I like to use liquid glue to adhere it to my card base. 
just helps, I think, get in the grooves, holds the paper down a little bit better. Like that. We're gonna, I have the uh, black and very vanilla large check ribbon. I have one piece that's six and a half inches and one piece that's about four and a half inches. And with our blends alcohol markers, you can color ribbon. So I am using the um, dark melon mambo and I'm using the, the brush tip. You want to be you don't want to use the tip of your your marker. You want to just use the side. And it's okay if you go over the black. So you're just going to do strokes along the ribbon. And it does go through the other side. I am going to just run it on the back side as well. This piece, it wouldn't be as important to do that as with the little one, since this one's going to be flat on our cart. So we'll set that aside. We'll do the same thing with our smaller one. Now this one, we're going to tie in a knot. <coughs> so we want to make sure that both sides have good color on them. We have other ribbons that you can do this with, um, the white or um, vanilla ribbons are good ones to try coloring with your markers. Okay, we'll set that aside, we're done with that. I went ahead and um, on a three by four, I went ahead and stamped these three flowers, the outline flowers, are all hooked together, and I stamped those with um, basic gray. Then I'm going to stamp the largest flower in Melon Mambo. I'm going to just line that up. While I have this out, I stamped that on the inside. Um, the inside is four by five and a quarter. So we'll stamp this one as well. The medium, we're going to color with Daffodil Delight. <clears throat> and the little one we'll do in Coastal Cabana. We'll cut those out in a minute. I have my envelope and I just want to stamp one of these flowers on the envelope. And I'm gonna stamp the medium sized one. So I'm just gonna come and do the corner 
of the ink pad so that I'm only getting that one flower. that. <clears throat> and that is the yellow flower. I like to line up this little pokey out section. It makes it easy to line up the rest of the flower. Okay, that's that. We can go ahead and put our inside in. Oh, silly me, I am always doing one step before I need to. I did not want to put this layer down yet. I'm just going to pull up this left side to wrap my ribbon around. Maybe. And hopefully that's enough to get the ribbon underneath there. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to just add some liquid glue on this section here. And then I'm going to lay it down about right there. And not only would have it been easier to put the ribbon on before we glued this Coastal Cabana layer, but it's a little bit long, so it needs to be trimmed. So learn from my mistakes. I'll come in here. And when I'm gluing ribbon, <clears throat> I like to take a glue dot on either end and since this end was harder to pull up Now to re-secure this, I'm going to take some glue dots and I'm going to, whoops, adhere that edge back down. I like to use my take your tip, take your tip tool, take your pick tool, gosh, I can't talk tonight, and just lift those glue dots up with the pokey end. use it as my third hand here, my third finger. Okay. I think I'm going to stick one underneath here. Okay. We've got that fixed. 
So let's, we can put the inside in now. set that aside. <clears throat> now bring in my mini cut and emboss. And the, the die for this flower is three as well. So the outline stamp is all three flowers are connected. And then the die cuts all three. This is a hybrid. You could put this into the embossing folder and emboss and cut at the same time as well. I'm just not using that technique on this particular card. Okay, I think that looks good. going to add some dimensionals to these. I have this one lonely dimensional here. We'll use that one. And we'll put that about right there. The yellow one I'm gonna just put flat. So I'm just gonna put some liquid glue on there. And kind of tuck it. And then this little one, we will pop him up as well. Then we're gonna just put our shorter piece of ribbon through here. And tie a knot. Trim the edges. And I always like to put a glue dot underneath my knot. You just take my take your pick tool and fold the glue dot into a little ball. And then it fits right underneath that knot. I opted for no greeting. I'll let the gals at class um, pick whichever greeting they want. But there we have a cute card using the baby wipe technique. I will have all the measurements below the video and also over on my blog at hollyscrafting.com. If you uh, have liked my video, I ask you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it.